when I was, I think, six years old, I went to someone's house, and a dog started, came to me, and I was scared. I wanted to run. But you can't run faster than a dog, okay? So when a dog comes to you, try standing still. So I stood still. It was a Rottweiler, a very wild dog. And the dog just sniffed me, and then it went away. So please, when a dog, you see a dog coming to you, try standing still. Don't move. Don't make any sound. Just be there. Now, if you are standing still and the dog keeps attacking you, you are standing still and the dog starts to bite you, okay, try and protect your head, okay? Try and protect your head and try and shout for help. So I'm going to act like a dog, okay? And I'm going to try and attack her. And she has to try and protect her head and shout for help, okay? Are you ready? Roo, roo. <laughs> Okay, please, when, when it starts to happen like that, try and put your hand and your legs between yourself and the dog. If you have a bag, use the bag and be using, putting it between yourself and the dog. Okay, and try and move to a place, whether a door or a classroom, where you'll be away from the dog whilst you're shouting for help. Okay, don't try and run. The dog can run faster than you. So please, when a dog attacks you, first stand still. Okay, if it keeps attacking you, Protect your head. Try and put your arms, your back, or your arms or your leg between yourself and the dog. And then when you get to a position of safety, please go and tell your mother, your teacher, go and wash the place with soap and water and tell your mother and teacher so that they take you to the hospital. Thank you. So Ghana continues to record high cases of rabies in the various districts and then regions. Rabies presents a significant public health threat and it is worse due to low public awareness, insufficient vaccination coverages, and then limited access to health care. Despite the availability of vaccines, rabies continues to cause numerous deaths each year. So these issues and then challenges can be addressed, and we can all reduce rabies and other emerging diseases through surveillance and monitoring and then community and stakeholders engagement and involvement. As you can see, that is what we are doing here as well. So these are some of the cases we had in 2022. Ladade, Kotopon, we recorded dog bites within our community, 50 cases. 2022, we recorded 50 cases of dog bites. And then in 2023, we recorded 32 cases. Just last year, we recorded 32 cases. And this year, how few, we've recorded some few cases. So sensitizing and having this rabies day is very important so that any dog bites we report early to the health facility and then reduce rabies in our community. Thank you very much. Today is the pre-lunch of the World Rabies Day celebration. Tomorrow, the VAZ will be doing the official national lunch, and uh, we will not like to speak much on that. The Greater Accra region, as each share of uh, rabies outbreak since 2018, and the record says that over 600 suspected cases human cases with 70 deaths were recorded and Greater Agra is the second highest most affected. La recorded two outbreaks, uh, two confirmed cases last year, but fortunately it didn't lead to human death due to the prompt uh, intervention by our one health partner, that's the Ministry of Health and the Veterinary Services Directorate. The World Rabies Day is held every year with hundreds of thousands of people organizing and participating in events such as this. So on Saturday, throughout the world, everybody, most of the One Health partners will be engaging in similar activities that we are doing here. 
The thing for this year is breaking rabies boundaries. When we talk about breaking rabies boundaries, we are talking about things that uh, hinder the plans that we have set aside to uh, vaccinate dogs and stop rabies. And one of them that uh, we have identified is breaking the disease silence. We are talking about diseases, but when you talk about rabies, it's like uh, it is neglected. It is not treated as uh, we are treating, we treated COVID, but one death from rabies is highly regrettable because it is something that we can just stop it by vaccinating the dogs and taking simple uh, uh, precautions. As regional director said, Global Media Foundation is a non-governmental organization founded in 2009. And as the name implies, media. We focus on using media and communication tools to promote human rights, sustainable development, and social justice. Groomers engage in advocacy, public education, community development projects, particularly in areas such as health, education, and environmental conservation. The organization collaborates with local and international partners to amplify marginalized voices and foster positive social change. Over the years, GLOMEF has become a significant player in leveraging media for development in Ghana in particular and Africa as a whole. We are here this morning talking about rabies. So this is a national campaign being funded by USID through FHI 360 and then the partners involved, as our regional director already said, Ghana Health Service, Veterinary Service Department, and then Ghana Education Service. So we are not working only in this district. As I'm talking to you now, we are working in 1,120 communities across 56 districts in four regions. So we are talking of Ashanti. Ashanti, we are working in 26 district. Bono East, five district. Western, 10 district. And then Greater Accra, 15 district. And we have already trained RCCs in all these districts. And they are doing community engagement throughout the 15th district in Greater Accra, and then 26th district in Ashanti region, 10 in Western, and then five in Bono East. And apart from that, we are also engaging school children. So we have also selected 20 schools in each district across the 56th district, so that we'll have school education through debate and quicks, and also through football games. So we hope that through this campaign, we'll be able to reduce rabies bite and eight other associated challenges across the country. As the regional director said, we have just five years to achieve the SDG goal. That's the goal three, which is looking at health for all. And it is a responsibility of all of us gathering here today, whether students, teachers, traditional authorities, religious leaders, media, we all have a role to play by engaging our citizens, especially pet owners, to take full responsibility so that they will be able to vaccinate their dogs and their pests so that at the end of the day we'll be able 
to reduce rabies in Ghana. So once again, on behalf of my team and then our partners, I would like to thank you very much for taking active part in today's program. Imagine your sister or your brother is behaving like that. Will you stay away from her? You stay away from her. So you don't tell anybody, you just stay away from her. You also have to report it. Reporting is one of the ways to also help the society stay away from rabies, animals, or people. Okay? What are some of the ways you think rabies can be prevented? Batting for the dog regularly. He says batting regularly from the, for the dog. That is keeping your animal clean. Vaccination. Thank you. This is very important. Please, are we hearing that? He said vaccination. This is actually one of the ways you can prevent and to, you can prevent rabies. Most of you have dogs in your house. Am I lying? You leave your dogs, they run out, then they come back. They go and visit their friends and then they come back home. As we heard from the environmental officer, you know that is not safe, especially when your animals are not vaccinated. So we beg you, please, there's a reason why they are organizing all these things over here. We are telling you, when you go home, if your parents don't want to do the vaccination, tell them you report them to other elders, because that's a risk for another person, okay? Wash the wound with soap and the running water for 15 minutes and visit the vaccination nearby. Please give a hand of clap for her. She's done really well. She's summarized everything for me. So, you stand there, he'll give you. So, she said, you wash the wound with soap and the running water for at least 15 minutes. After you get the bite, it's painful. So, when we say it like that, it sounds like it's an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing to do to put a wound under running water and wash with, with soap. But you are supposed to do it. Because it's from the saliva that the rabies virus will enter the skin. So when the bite gets there, you need to wash to reduce the viral load at the area. Please, do we understand that? That is the reason why they said to wash for at least 15 minutes. It will reduce the virus at the, the bite uh, site. Also, she said to visit the nearest hospital or clinic, please. Don't keep it to yourself. That is the number one thing a lot of kids like to do when they get some of these sores, especially if it's not a very painful one, like a scratch. The second one is after you've gotten it, when you report to your parents, if they send you to just a pharmacy, a lot of people do that. There's a lot of rabies cases that might not have even ended up at the hospital until the, the child or the person is very sick. Sometimes you see it as just a wound. You go to the pharmacy and they prescribe the medications to to heal the wound and then the pain and all those things. They don't give you the adequate vaccinations and tetanus injections. Please, anytime you get that, go. I know sometimes finances might be a problem, but when you go and report to the, the right place, there's a process. Sometimes they can link you to the veterinary side where they'll write a, a form for you to get the vaccination for free. If you have money and you think you cannot wait, maybe the government process is too long or the time may happen, you ended up at a private hospital and you can pay for it, please pay for it because it is very important. When you start showing signs, it's fatality. Fatality means you are going to die. Please, we understand. And the whole idea of this sensitization or education is not to put fear in you. We want you to know that there's a way to prevent it. So when you get the bite, it doesn't mean immediately you are dying. Please, are we understanding that? So don't be afraid, because prevention is better than cure. For rabies, there is no cure. So you can only prevent it. Either the vaccination of your pet, or you go after you've had the bite. Sometimes after two to three months, it would have already started spreading. If you are not careful, you can take the vaccination and you will still come down with the rabies. Please, we understand. So that one, we call it timely vaccination. Do we understand? So don't be scared. Once you get it, go to the hospital. Let them get you the vaccinations done. Don't just go to the pharmacy and put medications on the wound and then it is healed. Because you can still get it after two to three months.